okay guys so welcome back again so in this video let's see that how do we deploy our apps on the app platform by DigitalOcean. so if you haven't signed up for the digital ocean account then you can use my link in the description below to get hundred dollar credits to use over a couple of months so once you logged into your digital ocean account your dashboard would look something like this there might be no projects inside this thing here but don't worry about that we won't be creating any projects here we are simply going to create a new app here and the app which we are going to run is an express application and the github repo is this repo and uh, it simply contains a single app.js file and if we go to the index route here and this is running locally on my system on port 3000 and we see that we have a message here that is awesome it works and then there is an environment variable inside this application and it this says this is an env variable and it is because that I want to show you that how do you pass an environment variables inside the app platform and then later on in the video we'll be also connecting our domain to our uh, deployed app so i have this domain from godaddy that is nightall.fun though you can use any domain manager for your application i just bought this domain from godaddy because it was cheapest for me so let's see that how do we deploy the app so let's go to the app platform dashboard here and here you need to click on this apps thing here and then finally what we need to do we need to click here somewhere that is launch app so it would pop up some sometime here so now we need to click on launch your app and let me minimize the font size a bit here and now since our repository that is the demo express application is hosted on github so therefore i'm going to choose github here and if it is hosted on gitlab then you would be choosing gitlab or docker hub so now i am simply going to choose github here and now it would ask us for permissions that is which repositories we would like DigitalOcean to have access to so instead of selecting all repositories here we would only like to have selected repositories to be accessed by DigitalOcean since we only want to deploy a single application here as of now so what i'll do i'll simply click here that is select repositories and here i would be simply choosing that repository that is demo express so let me type demo underscore ex and it this pops up so let me choose this repository so let me increase the font size here so i would be choosing my repository here that is demo express and don't worry about this thing here and this is a private repository which is already hosted on DigitalOcean. so this is the same repository as this repository that is this repository which i have chosen and now let me simply click on save and now we are redirected back to DigitalOcean. and now and now we choose github again and this time we would be selecting the repository here so now I would be choosing the repository here and that is this repository that is demo underscore express and now which branch do we like to deploy and in my case it is the master branch that we like to deploy because in our repository we have the master branch and no other branch here and we also want to deploy the master branch only and in case if it is if it is the main branch in your case then you would be simply choosing here uh, the branch name uh, with that main thing here but I am simply choosing master here and then there is a checkbox here that is auto deploy code changes that is whenever a, a push occur or a commit occurs inside this application on the master branch then should we should digital ocean re redeploy the changes automatically so i am simply selecting it uh, yes that is i want to auto redeploy the changes here so now let me simply click on next here and now it takes a couple of seconds or a minute or so so we see that uh, DigitalOcean the, or the app platform automatically detected that we have a node application here and the source directory would be root in our case and for the environment variables I want to set the environment variables here because inside the demo express application if we have a look at the env file we have two environment variables one is the port which we do not need to overwrite because that is provided by DigitalOcean itself and then we have this my var which simply says this is an env variable and it is already seen here that is this is an env variable that is my env var so what we would like to deploy here or what we would like to provide here as the environment variable would be my var so let me copy this my var from here and now i would edit this environment variables things here and the key would be my var and the value could be anything depending on the environment vari variable so here i would simply say this is an env variable on do uh, simply like this and now let, let me simply click on plus here and now i need to select the build command and there is no build command defined because it is an express application but if it was in react application then we need to provide in the build command but uh, the build command is simply react script start something like that but we are not worried about that and the run command should be npm start 
it's because inside our uh, this express application if we go to the demo express and if we have a look at the package.json file we see that we have a start script here that says node app.js so that's what we are doing here that is npm start so that would be our run command here and the http port let it be at the default value here that is 8080 and now in case you want to add in a database then you can add in a database here but i'm not going to do add in a database here for now so let me simply click on next now and now we need to name our web service so you can choose any name which you want to have here but there are some requirements here that is only contain lowercase alphanumeric characters so let me simply choose demo express and the default starter domain which uh, this uh, digital ocean provides uh, would be like demo hyphen express dot on digital ocean dot app that would be the url that is provided by digital ocean and here you need to choose the region which is nearest to you or which is nearest to your clients who would be accessing the application so here i am simply going to choose bangalore and now let me simply click on next and now here it asks us that which plan do we need to use and since uh, it, it it is not a static site so we need to use at least the basic plan and the static uh, and the starter plan that is uh, free uh, would be only used for starters uh, static sites so we need to choose here basic and it would suffice your needs for a typical small application and then for the container size we need to choose this thing here that is five dollar per month because it provides us with one CPU and 512 MB of RAM instead of this 10, uh, 1 GB RAM, which costs us $10. So let me choose this basic size here. That is 512 MB of RAM, which would cost us $5 per month. And now we simply need to click this. That is launch basic app. So let me click here. That is launch basic app. So we see that the demo express has been created. And now we see that the deployment is in progress. That is initial deployments. And if we have a look at the deployments here, we would be seeing something here that is, it is still building here and it would take a minute or so to build it, uh, build this application because it, for the first time initially, it takes a couple of minutes or so. So till then, let me go to the settings here and let's see that what do we have here. So if we go to the settings of this application and this time what we need to choose here, we have two settings here. One is the app thing and then the components thing here. For the app settings, so we have the information about the app, the plan which we use for this application and something related to the deploy settings. And we can connect domains here inside this app tab here. Once uh, the application has been successfully deployed and then we have app level environment variables and then we also have the component level environment variables. So I would be going to into that in a moment and uh, in case you want you can download this yaml file here which you can use later whenever you want to redeploy the application uh, as we see that here we have the environment variable that is my var whose value is this value here which we provided initially so uh, let's wait for a couple of seconds till it is deployed and if we go to this component thing here that is demo express then we see the component settings for the application here so here we have the source here for uh, for this application and then we have one environment variable here and if we click on edit here we see that this was the key of the environment variable that we added initially so let me close this and then we have the scores policy health checks and so on and so forth and we are not interested in any of them as of now so let's uh, go to this uh, runtime logs uh, so it is not running actually right now so we do not see any runtime logs here and if we go to the deployments here we would be seeing some thing here that is it is still building and we can see that it is 17 percent complete and we can click on the view logs button here to view the actual logs for this application that is what what's actually is going on so we can see whatever is going on here and now what i'll do i'll simply wait for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes and i'll skip this part till it is 100 percent complete so we see here that our app has been successfully deployed and uh, if we have a look at the logs here we see that somewhere our application is started on port 8080 so we can see it somewhere but it is not showing it so never mind so let's go here that is to overview of our application and if we click on this link here that is demo express and whatever it is so let's click on this link and let's see that what do we get here so let's let me click on this link here and we see that we are getting our app on DigitalOcean up and working and we also see the environment variable that we passed here on the env vars thing 
So let's quickly connect our domain that is nightall.fun to this application. So for that, I need to go inside the settings of this application. And then I need to click on this app thing, not on the components thing, but on the app thing here. And then I would like to add in a domain here. So let me click on edit. So now let's click on add domain. So let's provide here the domain name that is www.nightowl.fun like this. And now there are two options. Either we can point our name servers to DigitalOcean or we can manage our own domain. So let me simply click here that is you manage your domain. And then what we need to do, we need to create a CNM record like this that is www should be pointed to this thing here. So let me copy this thing here. And now what I'll do, I'll simply click on add domain. And now what I'll do, I'll go to my GoDaddy DNS management here for this domain name here. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a record here. That would be a CNAME record. And the host would be www. And it would point into this thing that we just copied here. And the time to live would be half hour. And now let me simply click on save. And it would take a couple of seconds to propagate the changes, though it is 30 minutes here, but it, it is done in about a second in a minute or so. So let's go to this domain page here and we'll see that the deployment is again in progress because of the domain name change. And if we click on edit here, we see that it is still pending. And if we go to this URL that is www.nightall.fun, we see that uh, we might be going to this thing once the deployment is complete. So it is complete as of now. And the status is still pending for this domain. So let's wait for a couple of seconds or so and let's see that if we are able to do so. So let's reload. So we see that once we reload it, we see that everything is up and working by using our own domain. And we have this SSL certificate also. That is the certificate here for this domain here. And it is provided by Cloudflare. And this is provided by, I suppose, uh, like for 90 days or so or something like that since it's a free certificate, but you do not have to worry about this SSL certificate because it is automatically renewed whenever it is going to expire. And now we have a complete working application on DigitalOcean app platform. So that's all about this video. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to our channel. And so thank you. Bye-bye. Take care and have a good day and have a great day.